This poem is called Take Back the Power, with a somewhat of an apology to Buddhists. <laughs> I would consider a Zen world, let other people's pain roll off my back, accept a predetermined order. Maybe I'm just an imbecilic bug in this world of Wall Street attunement, but Johnny is learning his lesson sitting on the lunchroom floor. All rooms are filled. My tax is going to guns, not school seats. His teacher using books, not explaining it was wrong for Jefferson to have slaves while he declared equality for all. Wrong that he should rise from sleep in a soft bed draped in embroidered lace covers while his brethren of dark flesh sleep on mats made of hay, eating porridge with horses while our founding father cuts his meat on china dishes and drinks from crystal goblets. Oh Sally, my Sally, sleep in me and be my darling slave. I can't zen, I can't bend and dive in cocoons blinded by pretty history while her story is unwritten, where color of flesh determines freedom, where loving the same sex or not determines acceptance, where Johnny plays with blades and little Jane puts rollers on a clitless Barbie. I can't zen while Ken is missing his penis, when a con while a constitution is considered legal without a woman's signature. I can't zen like a cross-legged Buddha while I don't have a say where my money goes. Just come home from the slavery of work, knowing without a paycheck there is no roof. Am I dead or aloof? What is ahead for me as I see each month turn into another? Will I ever be a mother, fill my bed with a lover who will carry the torch with me, proud that his woman has the urge to rent, the means to encourage screams, to inspire the tired, lower the higher, heighten the lower, and teach those who cower to raise their voices and take back the power. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is called Feminist with a Twist. I'm a hugger and a lover of the masculine mystique. I am a feminist with a twist. I'm a mover and a shaker, a kiss baker. I puck on my lips, buns in the oven, warm and is loving. I am a feminist with a twist. I pinch their butts, unbutton their buttons, wrinkle the fuzz of their hairy chests. If there's no hair, I'm still there. A hug with spunk is top on my list. I am a feminist with a twist. If they're shy, it doesn't matter the twinkle in their eyes makes me wetter. I would be his bug in a rug. Sarah and Sadie are my tits. I am a feminist with a twist. <laughs> Proud and horny, I'm a woman with curves. Passionate Latina with plenty of flesh to serve. My nipples glow in pink mist. I am a feminist with a twist. <laughs> is dedicated to Iraqi women, Egyptian women, African women, and women who are not white. Because this is what happens in those countries. This is called Pink Walls. The doctor was hired to quiet me. My mother opens her lips, tongue in place to speak, but the blade approaching the entrance of my vagina numbs her ability to make sounds. The doctor cut my clitoris and now my lips will open in silence. I had no choice. Is it my dark skin, my cosmic black hue? My blood is red like my lighter sisters. I will have no thunder in the temple with pink walls. Now this one requires audience participation. It's my last poem. If you take MAN from woman, what do you have? Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Got it? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now we can do the poem. I want my own word. Woman, you say I am, but no, I'm not. Take M-A-N from woman and you have a whoa. whoa. I want my own word. Man is a free word, stands alone, and I as whoa will grow on my own. I break free from the man. Menstruation, menopause. I manipulate his tongue and put my feet on its ground. No dick should never to defy my soul. Oh no, I'm a woe. <laughs> and it's what and it's menstruation, not menstruation. And menopause is plain gone. I won't replace the word that should be stoned to death. I've been hot flashing since I was born. Been speaking my mind and bitching since I could hear sound. Been horny since my tits could dance. I won't pause for mental 
label my changes when I change like sails loyal to wind. When I'm happy, it's mania. When I take charge, it's management. When the clarion call is loud and clear, it's a mandate. It is manpower called when the need arises and I'm invisible as a wall. And when I make wishes come true, I manifest. It is not I as a wall that conjures your dreams. Oh, see me born as a wall, a cheer of change. I release man to be in a zone and the world of walls to come out in droves. I'm not a man-eating wall, just a wall needing equal time. I am invisible, invincible, indivisible by zero, undivided in time. I will join you as woe to men. Be your partner, your joy, your sexy vixen to the court, but take man from woe. I want a word of my own. Woe stands alone. Without the man, we are whole. Thank you. <laughs>